I'm old guy gamer. This is Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't think I want to go anywhere without my hat. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, you know what? Bill was supposed to give us something for getting this pomade. Pack of cigarettes, maybe? All right, well, good for him. Oh, there's a gun oil there. Let's head over to uh, Mary Beth. I want to get her that pen that I found for her. I didn't, re I didn't post that video on YouTube. I just went and got it. And I did record it, but I didn't post it on YouTube. It wasn't that interesting. Put on some warmer clothes, friend. Morning, dear. Dude, it's 20 degrees Celsius. Morning, Arthur. Ladies? Ah, uh, morning, Arthur. Mrs. Adler. Are you well? So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. The uh, spoon is hanging there by a uh, spider thread, it looks like. Or magic. Something. There's two missions available, one with Hosea. I think that's going to be a drinking mission. And a fighting mission. And one with Bill. I don't know what that one is. But I'll sit here by the ladies and have my cup of coffee. Well, the morning chill burns off. You waiting for something there? Hey, folks. So what? You're a deputy now? Morning, Arthur. All right, we keep talking about the Hosea mission. Let's go do the Hosea mission. Um, actually, you've been on the run again. Is that Dutch? Oh. There's Dutch. Let's see if it'll let me give him his pipe. I got the pipe and the pen. From Mayor Beth and Dutch. I expect you'll betray me in the end, Arthur. Oh You're my the touch. That's so. You tell me. Why is this guy being such a. You know what? Whatever. Let's go do the Hosea mission. Kieran wants to go fishing, apparently. Morning. Morning. What's up, Jack? All right, girl. Arthur. Someone said my name. Bill's over there by Molly. I don't know what that mission is, but let's go do the Hosea one. Hopefully we don't need Charles because he's out on patrol. All seems quiet, Charles. Good morning, Arthur. You'll notice I left the music in on these video games. Um, on these video games. No, on this game. On these videos. Because I like the music in this game. I'm going to give up the monetization if it ever comes up to it. Because I like the music in this game a lot. I'll let you two keep the money on this series. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. Really? 
stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. Sure. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure. Oh, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? I only know the back way. This is way, the yeah. moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. There was the deer I left there a couple days ago because it rotted too much to take back. But that is where I got my perfect deer hide, though, so I can't complain. This game leaves deeper ruts on the trail when the wagon is full of stuff than when the wagon is empty. And it surely seems like this thing is leaving some pretty deep ruts, whether it's mud or gravel. I wonder. Run, Forrest, run! So how do you think this is going to turn out? They don't even know I've been on their property. Talking to their Here we are. daughter Modest or granddaughter. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Oh. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. But don't. Okay. Well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. We get escorted to the front door. Look at the front porch on that house. And the side porches. Some good stuff. Yes, me. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. 
Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Whoa. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Man, that wagon just Here didn't dance go. all by itself. I parked it one way. It was a different way in the cutscene. Uh, I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. Wow. Wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Jose, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad, huh? Come racing in the town. Tear up half of the fence. That'll work. Dude, don't pull out in front of me. Don't pull out in front of me. Pulled out in front of me. Dude. Come on, man. Which way are you taking us? This doesn't look right. Oh, Morning, partner. Traffic jam. Why isn't that guy going? Where are we going? was on Main Street. 
I wasn't even looking at the yellow line on the map. Whatever. Oh my goodness. Stay calm now. For mama, she loved you so. What happened to my rifle? Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> I had a rifle on my back when I started this mission. Whatever. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. He said two cases. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Just hand out the liquor. Oh my goodness. I feel like an idiot going along with this plan. Get behind the bar down the corridor there. Uh huh. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have more business. What can go wrong? Bounty. It's a sin to look at a gift horse. But I see a gift horse all over my eyes. That's some strong stuff. See if you can't get some old. Or drink up. Don't be shy, man. Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Another bottle, Fenton. These men are dry. Same motion, over and over, bolt up, left, left, press A, bolt up, left, left, press A, bolt up, left, left, press A, bolt up, left, left, press A. Free drinks, boys. Whoa, wife is gonna kill me. What could possibly go wrong with a bunch of guys drinking free booze? Libation? You. Me? You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! He wasn't there. Oh, 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 oh. Shit. So many shoot him <laughs> that was stupid why wouldn't it let me shoot him that was so ridiculous 
His left from his right because he said to the left. You see any more of them? Nope. I think so. He said to the Jesus left, and they're all to the right of us. A few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't. Come on, where's the good stuff? There it is. There's another gang on their patch. That was a lot of dead dudes. I wonder right. if I had an accuracy rating on that yeah. one. Remind me never to take up a career in, what was it? Advertising? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. This place is odd. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. Truth. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, mm -hmm. let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Some of the decisions. So what do you think? Thing. About what? The fine folks around these parts. And there's oh, Micah hanging right nice. up next to Dutch. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. 
And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? Inbred. Go we try to bread. rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can Sean. meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an inn at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. We it already ain't had that an complicated. Inn. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. What? Way back. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something that happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all got to pay for something. Oh, now, his daddy must have died in the war. Excuse me, Arthur. I got to write a letter. His daddy must have died in the war, and now he's going to take it out on some Southerners. All right. Let's see how we... No! Headshot 5. Complete with at least 90%. Wow, that's... There. Sucky. Well, that's it for this mission. That's it for this video. Come back next time and we'll see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. I'd appreciate it if you'd like or subscribe. Very well. If you're only going to do yeah. one, I'd rather you subscribe. Because I'm going to play Amen. this whole game whether you want to see it or not. I'll see you next time. Bye.